So hey everyone, what's going on? Supion here. Welcome back to another video. And well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can enable RTX uh, DLSS frame generation on every RTX card available. RTX 20 series and 30 series will benefit from it. So all you need to do is, first of all, head over to this website. Uh, I've given a link in my description so that you can easily navigate to this website. So a huge thanks to NewChem9 for creating this uh, mod uh, through which you can enable uh, frame generation on your RTX cards. Uh, unsupported rtx cards so of course 40 will benefit uh even if you don't use this mod but uh 30, 20 and series uh, 30 series users can easily uh use this mod and make sure you don't use it in multiplayer games because anti cheats will ban you and your account could easily get uh, banned so all you need to do is basically head over to files section of this website and uh first of all uh, make sure uh, in your settings menu uh just go to uh, display settings just type in here display settings and um Go to, uh, go to graphics and go to change default graphics settings and make sure you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling turned on. Um, once you've turned toggle this on, just uh, simply restart your PC. Uh, it's mandatory, otherwise uh, it won't be turned on until you reboot. Um, next up, what you want to do is simply download the DLSS G2 FSR3 0.90 version right here this is of the 10th Jan version and I've already downloaded it. So once you just click on manual download, um it will take you to a page which says slow download and fast download just simply uh, pr proceed with slow download uh, before uh, proceeding with slow download make sure you have um uh, created a, um, an account on this website that is nexus mods so yeah all you need to do is uh, download this file from here and uh, you can create an account for free and once you've downloaded it just navigate to that file in downloads and you'll get a zip uh, file like this it's just uh copy it to any directory it doesn't matter where you copy it so for me i'll be copying it to local disk e um i'll go to games and i'll go to simply paste it yeah once you've pasted it just simply head over to um use any uh archive archive decryptor so i'll be using nanozip here you can use winrar or windows 11 itself as an uh decryptor but uh extractor you can say but it's not that much uh, sufficient for a lot of techniques. So all you need to do is just uh, extract uh, to a folder, extract uh, extract the zip file to a folder. And as you can see, I've got this folder right here. So now what you can do is simply keep the folder here or you can just copy that folder anywhere you want. So I'll just simply copy it to local disk key because uh, that's my main game folder. So once you've copied it, just um, as you can see, we've got um, about six items here. Uh, all you need to do is basically there's a readme file as well you can go through this if you want to just uh you know you can follow these instructions to install it as well but if you want visually for that purpose i'm creating this video so as you can see here the first file that is disable nvidia signature checks you got to double click on it and simply just click on yes and there'll be a registry editor uh, a caution box that adding this information can unintentionally change or delete values uh, what you want to do is just click on yes and as you can see the games the keys and values contained have been successfully added to the register just click on okay now what you want to do basically is just um, uh, copy these two files to your game directory uh, as you can see dlss f uh, dlss g2 fsr3 and nvgx or dll these two files uh, you don't have to do anything with uh, this folder you just simply have to keep that folder uh, there you don't have to delete that folder once you delete that folder then your fg won't work for you so just copy this dlss to fsr and nvgx or dll uh, and paste it on your uh, game file games with support dll uh, fg or frame generation so as you can see um, i've got let's try it on cyberpunk 2077 just head over to bin folder go to x64 and just simply paste it right here uh yeah just keep in mind that this works for any and every game which supports which supports uh, frame generation uh what you want to do is simply just uh, copy these two files and paste it uh, in a folder where you have got the exe file of your game uh this works for pirated as well as the original games um so once you've pasted this right here all you need to do is simply uh, uh just double click on your exe file or rather i'll uh, run it from my desktop for optimum performance let's just close this window and yeah uh just simply i'll turn on uh msr afterburner 
Uh, this is a tool that helps you monitor your uh, what do you say your temperatures and your frames. So I'll just um, zoom out, zoom in this display so that you all can see it more clearly. Yeah, this is okay. Let's minimize this. And now we're gonna play Cyberpunk 2077. So as you can see, without frame generation on ultra high settings, without ray tracing enabled, uh, I'm getting around 50 FPS. And that will drop even more once it gets into the open world. The fidelity is quite good and the best part about this is that you don't lose any fidelity according to me. Like I've tested it on uh, around 10 games already. Cyberpunk, Tang Life, Witcher 3 as well as a lot of titles. Uh, with support frame generation of course you cannot use this in uh, DirectX 12 not supported games. And DirectX 12 is mandatory for this. So as you can see we are getting a constant of around 55-50 FPS without any tweaks. Is the raw power of the RDX 37 CI? Let's stop at 45. So, as you can see, we are getting an average of 51 FPS, um, and DS frame generation isn't enabled. Uh, now we'll go to settings and now just see the magic. Now just look at the magic that uh, FG has been activated on our PC. Technically it's uh, AMD's FSR but yeah it will benefit from DLC subscaling. And boom as you can see I'm getting around 80 to 85 FPS. About a 30% FPS boost. And the fidelity too, if you ask me, the fidelity as is as it is. It hasn't been like I cannot spot any major difference. It's even touching 95, 100, 107. That's great. And even if your CPU is bottlenecking, you can use this. 98, man. It is almost doubling your FPS. You can lock the FPS uh, to a certain limit if you want a stable gameplay. Like I like to keep my uh, story games locked to 60. As you can see, we are getting an average of 77 FPS. You can see 78 FPS on uh, uh, by using this DLSS frame gen mod. Now we'll just exit to main menu and I'll just show you another demonstration. And keep in mind that um, uh, I'm recording my screen as well as uh, using MSI Afterburners tool to monitor my temps and still I'm getting uh, such great FPS. So you can uh, uh, you can expect around uh, uh, more 5 to 10 FPS from the ones that is being showcased currently. Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. Let's go to local disk A and uh, local disk G. I'm sorry. Yeah, just copy uh, those files again. And paste it to the folder in which uh, you have got your game installed. So I'll be trying Spider-Man Remastered. And as you can see, the EXE, the main EXE of the game is right here. So I'm just going to paste it and as you can see these two files are pasted. I've pasted it over here. So now all you want to do is just simply um, turn on this uh, like run Spider-Man. Alright, so as you can see I'm here and if you go to settings and simply go to expand graphics. Now we'll go to graphics and yeah, as you can see the frame gen is on right now. I'll just set it to off. So as you can see, I'm getting around 90 FPS. So let's get into the game ASAP. So it's a very good method if you have got an RDX card to enable this. 
So as you can see, I have loaded into the game and I'm getting currently around 61 FPS. As you can see, around 70 FPS, 60 FPS, but let's get closer to the ground. Yeah. As you can see, we are getting around 48 FPS, 51 FPS in this area. Sorry, I'm usually web swinging. Hey, now, what we're gonna do is basically just turn on FG. We're gonna go to settings, we're gonna go to display and graphics, and we're just gonna turn this on. And as you can see, if I apply changes, continue. Boom. Just look at this part right here. FPS are almost doubling. Wow without any major image fidelity drop. And honestly, I, I suggest you to enable frame generation because it is actually good. Ninety nine FPS man. At max I was getting around seventy FPS, now it's almost double. But as you can see, we're getting know, 130, 120 FPS. So yeah, that was it. Uh, we've tested two games side by side. Alright, so that was it for today's video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.